Hello and welcome. Today I feel like we have no choice but to discuss the slap heard around the world. Okay, nobody watches the Oscars anymore, but over the weekend, all of that changed when millions of people worldwide began circulating a clip of actor Will Smith jumping on stage to slap the comedian host, Chris Rock, across the face for making a joke about Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith. The joke was something to the effect that her new low haircut looked like she was looking to be cast in a G.I. Jane sequel. A pretty lighthearted joke by any metric, but, but, unbeknownst to Chris Rock and also to me, and I'm sure millions of other viewers around the world who are used to seeing Jada with a low haircut, Jada is apparently suffering from a condition known as alopecia, which contributes to balding. Now, here is what's odd about the clip. When Chris Rock first makes the joke, Will laughs, meaning that he takes the joke as it was intended, lightly. But then he looks over and he sees that his wife does not find the joke funny, and he immediately goes from an amused attendee to a thug life husband defending the honor of his wife's hair. So he hops on stage and rather dramatically slaps Chris across the face. Then he returns to his seat and he screams, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth, much to the horror of attendees who are all at once realizing that, no, 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 this isn't a joke. He's not kidding around. The internet was understandably outraged by the act of violence and making things more awkward. Will Smith subsequently won his first Oscar for his performance in the film King Richard. Now, in the aftermath, there have been calls to have the Oscar award rescinded, regarding which the Academy has not yet made an official decision. There have also, of course, been countless internet jokes and memes made at his and Chris Rock's expense. Jesse Waters of Fox News probably said it best when he offered that this is the first time that we have seen the media actually cover black-on-black -black crime. But through all of these jokes and the rampant commentary that's being offered, there is a conversation that is being neglected, a truer assessment of what we observed on that Oscars stage. For the first time, we saw the real Will Smith. Not a fresh prince, not a survivor of a zombie apocalypse and I am legend, not a crime-fighting cop in the movie Bad Boys or the Hancock superhero, but the real Will Smith, an incredibly broken man and the residual product of a directionless society that is filled with them. The kind of society that produces men that look to their more domineering wives with their tails planted firmly between their legs for instruction on what and who they ought to be in every room. The truth is that off the big screen, Will Smith has been spiritually annihilated by his wife. Don't forget it was Jada Pinkett Smith who openly shared with the world how she cheated on her husband, remember? And with who? Her son's friend. Yeah. Jada carried out an extramarital affair with a young man who was at first friends with her son. Then she dragged her puppy dog husband out onto the world stage and told the public while making him sit through it, listen to it, and agree that she had the right to do what she did. Don't believe me? Take a look yourself. During that time, launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with August. What do you feel like um, you were looking for? I just wanted to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. Yeah. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> I'm that husband, I'm with, now I gotta be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you like to tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> Like, I love, I love my baby. I'm going to stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand mm -hmm. um, why it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. The takeaway from this interview was that they together represented some newer, more progressive form of what it means to be in a marriage, which is to say not being in a real marriage at all. Will Smith today is someone who should be pitied not prosecuted in a courtroom or even persecuted in the public eye, but pitied by every person who has the clarity to see how our society, as sponsored by the perversion of these Hollywood types, is falling apart. 
Will Smith is what Jordan Peterson cautions against. He's nothing more than a casualty in the great war against masculinity. G.I. Jane, by the way, for those of you who haven't seen the 1997 movie, tells the story of a woman being integrated into the all-male space of the United States military. It is the inspired tale of the loss of one woman's femininity to meet the grueling physical demands of the more masculine environment that she finds herself in. And so, though perhaps not the punchline that Chris Rock had intended, I have to agree that, yes, Jada Pinkett would be the perfect individual to play that role in the remake. And not because of her hair, obviously, but because of her success in stripping her husband of any trace understanding of what it means to be a real man. And let me tell you, Will, it isn't slapping a man across the face because your wife tells you to. I'm sorry to say that real manhood is not won on a stage at the Oscars with a meaningless trophy. Rather, real manhood begins and ends in your own household. It starts with the first step of being able to accurately identify what a good man, what a good woman, and what a good, meaningful relationship even is. And with that, we wish you luck, Will, on your real-life pursuit of happiness. Love.